In the internet age, it is not particularly difficult to find information on people. Not hard. Not usually, but no. the New York Mets apparently skipped that part of their planning for the 1969 Miracle Mets team honors over the weekend. And as our Rod Maloney tells us, they gave the Mark Twain treatment to one of their <laughs> former players, pronouncing him deceased. He is decidedly not. This yellow house on 7th Street in Port Huron is where Jim Gosger grew up. Went to St. Joseph's High School just up the street. He could hit a fastball and the Red Sox signed him. Eventually he wound up with the Mets, played in a couple of World Series, and then he retired here to Port Huron and this house where he lives to this day. Not that the Mets would know. This was the scene over the weekend. The aging miracle Mets honored 50 years after winning that World Series. Jim Gosger didn't get an invite. He wasn't upset about that. But then he started getting emails from New York friends Saturday. On the bulletin board, they're also acknowledging the people that have passed away. And he says, you're on there. And I said, well, I don't feel like I'm dead. And I, <laughs> I had people calling me. I had... Uh, people coming up on my <laughs> Facebook. What the hell is going on? It's a troubling moment facing your mortality early and the Mets attempts to make good fell flat. He got a call from the team historian. He says we want to apologize for what we did. He says we didn't know that you were still alive. And I said, well, thanks for calling. And I hung up with it. And that was the end of the conversation. You know, I was, I was so, I was mad. A good left-handed bat, swift in the outfield, not a star. He mostly platooned in 11 years in the bigs. But this isn't the first slight by the Mets. He played a dozen or so games during the 69 World Series. Later, he won a pennant with the Mets in 73 and got this ring. But he never got a ring for that World Series, and he'd like one. I'd cry. I'd cry again. I mean, it, 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 it meant that much to me. I mean, he earned it after all, right? Well, he is a storytelling machine, a real character. And I asked him, I said, why are you wearing the Red Sox hat? He said, because that's his favorite team. They're the ones that signed him. I said, would you wear a Mets hat? He said, yeah, if they get me that ring. Back to you <laughs> that's guys. That's not asking much. <laughs> no. So what do the Mets have to say? Well, well, what do you think they had to say? They were sorry, and they have no idea whether they're going to get him a ring. Probably not. We have our own problems. <laughs> Apparently so. What a story.